Welcome to the 11 inch MacBook Air Take Apart Guide. To open the MacBook Air, you will need to remove the 10 penelope screws from the bottom pan. and then firmly lift up on the bottom pan to remove it. Next you will need to disconnect the battery from the logic board. To remove the SSD card, you will first need to remove the Torx 5 screw, and then lift the card up and slide it out. Next use your nylon spudger tool to disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas from the airport card and then remove the Torx 5 mount screw holding down the airport card. And then lift the card up and slide it out. Next, using your nylon spudger tool, disconnect the IO flex cable from the logic board and the IO board. And then with the help of the flat side of the spudger tool, unplug all the cables from the logic board. Next, remove the three Torx 5 screws from the fan. And then remove the fan. Next, remove the remaining Torx 5 screws from the logic board. Now use the flat side of your spudger tool to disconnect the microphone cable from the I.O. board. Now remove the Torx 5 screw from the I.O. board and take the I.O. board out. To take out the battery, you will need to remove the five Torx 5 screws from the battery. And then simply lift the battery up. Now use the flat side of your nylon spudger tool to remove the speaker assembly. And then do the same for the right speaker assembly. Next use the flat side of your spudger tool to remove the IPD flex cable.
Next, remove the outer six Phillips screws from the track pad assembly. and then lift the trackpad up. Next you will need to disconnect the keyboard cable from the trackpad assembly. Once the cable is disconnected, the trackpad can be removed. Next use the flat side of your spudger tool to separate the black plastic tabs that are holding down the Wi-Fi antennas. and then gently lift up the antennas and slide them through the plastic tabs. Now to remove the display, you will need to have the display in the open position and hanging off the edge of your desk. And then remove the two Torx 8 screws from each hinge. And lastly, you can remove the display from the top case.